Hello y'all, uh, I'm here to uh, talk to you about how to fix these little USB Nintendo controllers. Uh, online there's many forms that uh, people are getting these things and they're too sensitive. So if you're pressing like uh, right for example, it will go uh, right and up or right and down because it's very, very sensitive. Now, this isn't anything wrong with your computer or anything like that. And if you go look on forums online, uh, many people will suggest that uh, you recalibrate, which is <laughs> ridiculous. Um, you can only recalibrate analog sticks. Uh, D-pads are just buttons. They're either on or they're off. They don't have an X and Y position. Uh, and so you can't calibrate it. You can click the button and uh, uh, to calibrate and then press each button but it's not going to do anything as far as recalibration goes um, but what is wrong what causes the sensitivity is not uh, it's a physical problem um, it's actually something inside the controller now I've already fixed this one and it works wonderfully and I was going to fix this one and sh show you all how to do it uh, so first thing we'll need to do is go ahead and open it up uh, and that's done by taking out six screws uh, and there's a hidden screw right behind here you just poke through it alright and then we go ahead and take the back off go ahead and unwind this cord and take this piece off now, you see this is where the buttons press down, and as you can see, they are just buttons. There's no analog component to calibrate there. But this is the problem here. Uh, these little round ends under here, they stick up ever so slightly. And uh, on regular Nintendo controllers, you don't have that and that's what's causing the sensitivity so if you press down on one of the buttons for example it could very easily press one of these others just with the slightest touch it's uh, really sensitive it really is and uh, it is a huge pain in the butt and it really causes some major issues it makes most games unplayable completely uh, with this controller um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this X-Acto knife and I'm going to go ahead and shave these down. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and shave these down one by one until it's flush with the outer edge. So let's go ahead and do that. You see how I've made it nice and flush there? You can't see any edge sticking up. This one has a small edge. If you have a better way of shaving these off, go ahead. Uh, this isn't the best way. But it's what I had and it works. There we go. And again, be very careful, especially if you're using an X-Acto knife. They are very sharp. Uh, but as you can see there, we've made it nice and flush. I don't know how well you can see that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and drop it back in here. Put this back together, just like so. Be very careful with this cord. If you rip any of these off, it's not going to work. Let's see if I can remember how this was. I think just like that. There we go. Take your back plate, put it back on. Let 
Be careful not to over tighten. And just like that, it's all done. Uh, now you will be able to play your games without that uh, really irritating sensitivity. Uh, if you all like the video, go ahead and leave a like, and thank you very much.